This fan provides necessary cooling and ventilation for the new shop floor of Machine Guard and Cover Company. Unfortunately, the exposed fan blades and belt and pulley system create an unsafe work environment. Proper guarding will be required to maintain the fan's functionality without impeding shop floor safety. At any shop, floor space is at a premium. This creates the challenge of creating a guard that not only meets all safety standards and insurance qualifications, but one that is also simple and compact. The first part of this installation utilizes a guard fabricated from extruded aluminum framework and thermoplastic coated wire mesh. This will keep clothing, limbs, and tooling safe from the spinning fan blades without impeding airflow. Unfortunately, the motor, belt, and pulley system of the fan is too close to the surface of the wire mesh. This means the guard will not pass safety inspections. This will be remedied using a standard point guard. Using a marker, the location of the belt and pulley are traced onto the wire mesh. The location of the fan motor's power cord is also noted, so an appropriate passage can be made. A rotary tool is then used to cut the wire mesh along the marked lines. As you can see, the removal of the extra material allows for the aluminum frame to sit closer to the wall, saving more floor space. The belt and pulleys still require proper guarding, and for this, one machine guard and covers off-the-shelf thermoform guards will be used. Following the ANSIB 1119-2010 standards for guarding power transmission systems, the point guard is attached using physical fasteners. This prevents accidental removal of the guard and exposure of the moving parts. With the point guard installed, the completed framework can now be mounted to the entire fan system. The guard itself will be mounted in place using L-brackets. Although uncommon, this two-part guard system's fabrication and installation is well within the possibility for Machine Guard and Cover Company.